Hello my bubble blowing friends and welcome back to another video. I am unable to sit in the video recording chair because my little kitty cat is fast asleep. Oh we woke her up. Oh no. Look how grumpy she is. She's just mad because she kept waking me up last night so now she's sleeping all day. As what a cat does. So today we're going to talk about oh Oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> okay, we'll just, we'll sit like this the whole time. We're going to talk about bruvs. So it was so much fun to go out into the reef with Carlos on our new boat, Evie, which you could see in the uh, previous video that we've uploaded. And at the end of all our spearfishing fun, we dropped a bruvs in the water to see what would come up to it. Now, I did a reaction video to this. Well, not a video, a recording, which <laughs> didn't record the audio. <laughs> so I don't want to be disingenuous and do another reaction video when it's not a reaction video. So I thought I'd share my thoughts on the video itself and what happened with the bruv. So I'll put some footage in the background as I talk, as I usually do. And so, really exciting to drop a bruvs on the Great Barrier Reef when there's more than 30 centimeters of visibility. As you can see in some of this older footage that we took offshore whilst we were still experimenting with the creation of the bruvs, that you might see like a shape which could be a turtle and maybe um, like a puffer fish come past but nothing really significant. <laughs> Little cutie cat, little cutie cat. Sorry, I'm getting terribly distracted with all this. Um, so what was I saying? Yes, so really cool stuff to drop the bruvs on the Great Barrier Reef to see what comes up to it. There were a couple of annoying limitations that I really want to fix up. First of all, we dropped it in 20 meters of water and it was on the bottom. The idea behind this was that that had the least amount of coral coverage, so the least amount of breakage. And watching that footage was intensely anxiety inducing, I would like to say, because it landed on like a patch of dead coral around living coral, and it's just it's no small miracle that we didn't break anything. So I've learned my lesson from there. I think in the future what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to manually place it in shallower zones and make sure that it isn't going to be flopping around and breaking stuff because I don't want to kill coral here. I want to preserve the environment and make sure that it's beautiful and pristine and I don't want to play a part in damaging it, even if it is to do surveys for science. That was intense for me and probably the coral as well. but. Interesting stuff that came up to it. Lots of different kinds of fish. Um, I haven't looked in my special book yet to see what kinds of fish they were. Uh, we did see things like goat fish and a coral trout that I like to hang around here. Quite a personality. At first he was kind of apprehensive and then he sort of came closer. Then we had a trigger fish uh, which came up to the bruvs very very confident and was like chewing it up and pulling the squid legs out and that little fish got a bit of action out of it and got some like I think I think it's a tusk fish but I need to like look it up and lots of other generic reef fish damsel fish but the angle of the GoPro as well was I think a little bit too like facing downwards that's just how it landed it landed sort of on the bait itself so it was more like at an angle like this which meant that the camera was facing down to the ground for most of the video and when we put it down I did see a shark swim up to it but it didn't get caught on camera and that would have been a fun like interaction so overall I think this was like a big success in the progress of creating our little bravs oh didn't even tell you what a bruvs is. For those who don't know, it's essentially a way to do underwater video surveys uh, to sort of see what's there when either people can't go down. Oh 
goodbye. What are you doing? Um, for people who can't go down or to sort of attract fish that might be a bit shyer around people, particularly on the reef that we are at. It is a spearing reef and we hadn't seen a coral trout that large um, anywhere near. anywhere near that size when we were spearing so you do get different kinds of fish that are a bit shy around people but may be more attracted to bait however as we can see in the footage it is biased towards predator fish so we didn't see a single parrotfish even though that reef has quite a lot of parrotfish on it so the surveys definitely do have their limitations but i think it is a fun thing to do to sort of get an idea of well, what I want to do personally with this uh, is to see the impacts of fishing on reefs, on the fish behavior and even shark behavior and fish populations. And I also want to have a look at like tourist reefs as well, where they actually feed fish. How does the density of fish um, species and populations differ on those reefs compared to uh, reefs that are completely protected and you can't do anything except dive and hang out on them. So it is going to be interesting and I think it's going to be quite a bit of fun. This is exciting progress for the Bravs. I am very chuffed that this worked and it didn't fall apart. We had a slight adjustment to the design. We put those two little tins on at the end instead of that little... Um, net thing that we had because we didn't feel like that net thing was shark proof enough and if a shark really went at it it would have torn it apart and we would have lost part of the bravs and we would have also lost um that plastic in the ocean i sort of want to start pulling back on the plastic on the bravs so if anything does happen we don't pollute the ocean but yeah um overall really happy to see what we saw and uh, this is just like a progress video, really, on the bravs. And I'm excited for the next time that we get it that little bit better. And then we can get some really exciting footage up on the bravs that you sometimes see floating around of like crabs fighting octopus and stuff like that. So I'm very excited to sort of see those interactions and the behavior of the animals around the bravs too. Thank you for watching this video. It's been great. Sibis, what do you have to say? to all our friends. No. Oh, is that right? <laughs> is that right? Super says goodbye too. Thank you everyone for watching. And until next time, see you later. Bye bye. Kungio. Ah. Oh, so cute. You're so cute.